Martin is a new caller from Seven Oaks. Martin, good evening. What's your question? Good evening, and thank you for taking my call. Um, it's a bit off topic, but uh, I bought a property uh, by auction um, two weeks ago now. Um, and uh, when we got to completion, there was a bit of smoke and mirrors about uh, the keys. Uh, it took about four days to get the keys. I got into the property and the boiler is removed, the radios are removed, light fittings are removed. Uh, all the taps and faucets uh, in the property have been removed. And I sort of know the answer, but uh, what protection do I have? What what uh, what can I do other than take them to small claims court, I guess, and uh, run that journey? That's is this an investment it. property, Martin, or was it for you to live? Yes, it is. Yes, okay. it is. Um, well, I, I suspect you know the answer. Are you a professional landlord or professional no, builder? No, not at all. This nope. is sort of number two of, uh, of properties that I've bought. But, um, yeah. Well, you're braver than me because I, I didn't think I'd have the guts to do something like that. Mm. Uh, I uh, Well, the, the, the legal answer is very, very straightforward. Uh, mm. When you buy a property, it is sold with the fixtures and fittings. So it's sold with the boiler, uh, with the radiators, with all those sorts of things. It's not sold with decorations, of course, uh, but yeah. fixtures and fittings are part and parcel of the property. And ripping out the boiler and the radiators, etc., is viewed no different legally from ripping out the roof or the wall. It's just part of the property and it's part of what you've bought. So you would have a rock-solid claim in the small claims court, assuming you can prove uh, that it was that, that those items were there at the time the hammer fell on the auction. Uh, right. Are there photos in the in the um, auction catalogue? Indeed, yes. So, so you can prove uh, that the fixtures were there. Right. There's various other uh, bits and pieces along the way. I spoke to a neighbour who helped uh, help the person take the radios down the stairs and out the door. So right. Uh, so so you've got, got a rock solid claim. I'm not sure it's going to yeah. be a small claim though, Martin, because small claims are for under ten thousand pounds. And mm. I suspect it's going to cost more than £10,000 to get radiators and, and, and other uh, fixtures back in that property. Mm. Okay. 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 I'm sorry you're in a um, uh, situation. Um, buying property is fraught with difficulty very, very often. And when you do it for investment purposes, you always know there are going to be unexpected problems. Um, I wish you the best of luck with that. And I hope you get a massive increase in the housing market so you see some profit out of it. But it's going to be well, difficult. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. So the buyer protection is quite quite poor, isn't it? Because if I defaulted as a buyer, I would get uh, taken to court and I'd lose my deposit and all the rest of it. But uh, yeah, if if you don't keep up your end of the bargain, you yeah. get sued. If the seller doesn't keep up their end of the bargain, as they haven't, they get sued. Um, okay. But it, it's just okay. going to be very difficult to go through the the time and expense and hassle of doing that. Uh, good luck with that, Martin. 